there, it's Selen. So I tried to uh, keep up my end of the whole I'm going to do a video every week bargain and apparently I didn't want to upload and I didn't notice until Monday when I was like going to look at it and figure out what I'm going to do for this week. So for this week I'm just going to redo the video that I was going to do last week partly because I couldn't figure out what else to do. Um, so anyway, I'm going to show you the books that I reviewed and do a re-review and kind of go from there. So some of these books, um, most of these books actually I got from Jack Opal. He sent them to me and honey, thank you so much. They're really cool. Um, I'm really, really, really happy with them. So the first one here is, here is Spellcrafts by Scott Cunningham and David Harrington. Um, and you know what? I was looking at this book to buy before um, you said you were going to send it off to me. And I am, like, if you hadn't sent it off to me, I would have bought it anyway. And I, you know, I'm so glad that I have it. Um, there's some really cool stuff in here from, like, everything from mixing potpourri to spell bottles to hex signs, which, I don't know, here I'll show you this. The hex signs, like how to draw them, that's just so cool. Um, and there's a whole bunch of them in here for like um, rune dice and all this kind of stuff. So really cool. I'm really excited about um, getting into some, making some of these. Um, I actually just the other day bought some uh, some paraffin and some beeswax, and I'm going to be making candles. So I I will video that, but I will be making candles, um, and I'm super 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 so stoked. So anyway. Um, <laughs> Thanks, Alistair. You're really helpful. Anyway, I really suggest that you get this one. This is awesome. Awesome book. All right. He wants to nap in my lap. Because that's what he does whenever I want to do something. Anyway, the next one here, which actually I'm going to be taking this downstairs and putting it next to my uh, first aid book and my BC Health Guide. Because this thing is awesome. Top 100 Herbal Remedies. I've never heard of this author. Um, and I'm going to butcher her last name. Anne... Yeah, Anne something. Mick... Ah, whatever. Anyway, really awesome. It's uh, really good. Just really, really good. It's got, like, all the glossy pictures, which... Some of these are just gorgeous. Like, look at that. But it's really simply laid out, and it's got warnings on it, like, um, here we go, yarrow, avoid during pregnancy, there's another one there, so it's got, like, these big warnings on, on stuff to, that you got to be worried about, but, you know, kind of great little overviews of everything, and then this whole, oh, where is it, this whole back half of the book is set up like this, here, where you have stuff like muscle pain, and different things that you could do, and treatments, and useful herbs, and everything. And it's all just right there in sections, color-coded. I absolutely love this, honey. I'm surprised you gave this up, because I, I, I can see myself using this all the time. So I really like this one. Actually, I'm going to take this downstairs. So I got it downstairs. So, you know, next time Munchkin gets a cough or something. Um, the next one here is Magic When You Need It, 150 Spells You Can't Live Without, by Judica Illies. Really, really cool book. Like, super cool. Um, there's one in here. Where is it? Um, here, I gotta, sh I gotta show you this, because you know what? There was one in here that made me laugh, which was to protect your car. The one in here to protect your car, and it, it basically said to go get the nicest piece of meat you can get, and rub it all over your car. Yeah. It's a weird way to protect your car. You know, my neighbor started rubbing a piece of sirloin steak on her car. I'd look at her funny. But, I gotta show you this one. Because this one just made my day. Like, the second I saw it, I'm like, oh my god, this is my favorite book ever now. Um, if you don't know, I, I, I don't, you know, um, our, our family life is complicated. We are a blended household. And um, my son's father is... Reliable is not how to describe him. Let's put it that way. So, 
gotta show you this. Collect your child support. Oh yeah, I am totally doing one of these. Um, I don't know, I just thought that that was awesome that that was even in there. There's a, quite a few in here about getting pregnant and staying pregnant, which I think would be really cool. Um, I would definitely use some of them with my next pregnancy. Sorry, I'm not getting any pregnant anytime soon, but, you know. Anyway, the last one here is the Aromatherapy Bible, which after I got the Fortune Telling Bible, I decided I wanted to get the Aromatherapy one. And I really, really like this. It's again got the kind of dictionary in the back of, you know, what the different oils are. And then it goes over a wide variety of arom aromatherapy topics. Everything from the history of aromatherapy to massage to, here we go. Let's see, we got aromatherapy for beauty, moods and emotions, massage, healing, and mind and spirit. And that's like just the tips of the icebergs for the chapters. Um, lots and lots of information in here. And, yeah, no, I'm really glad with, I glad, glad I got it. Um, it was a grand total of $20, 1950 Canadian. Um, and I, I ordered it off of chapters.ca. Because Amazon, I had ordered it off of Amazon, oh my gosh, in November, and they just got it. In, they just got it in stock like last week, and they sent me an email saying like, "Oh, do you still want it? We finally have it in stock." And I was like, "Yeah, I already got it from uh, Chapters, and, and yeah, why would I want it from you guys if I already got it from Chapters a month ago?" So yeah. Anyway, so those are the books that I've been finished reading. Um, here, I'll show you something. My nightstand has turned into sort of like a, a catch-all. And so all the books that I'm reading are going to be reading. And all of the crafts and stuff that I'm doing right now are all on my nightstand. So let me show you. You see that? Okay. Oh, my God. I've got... This one I'll be done by the end of today. Which is... This is my chapter book. Fragile Eternity by Melissa Marr. Really cool book. Um, the Melissa Marr series is all on Faye. Um, but anyway, I've got, you know, I still want to read a ch the last chapter of Little Big Luke of Magic. I've got Full Contact Magic. And I just started up um, Wiccan Warrior by Kirk Cullen. And then I've got Nocturnal Witchcraft, Gothic Grimoire, Walking the Twilight P Path, The Inner Guide to Ancient Egypt, a crafting book, Wicca cookbook, big blue book, and a book of signs and symbols. That's like a foot tall, my pile of books to read. Not to mention, as you can see on the top, I am making a doll, and I am knitting, and I am crocheting, and... Ugh! Why must I be so creative? Because it's awesome. So anyway, I will uh, let you guys go. Let me know if there's anything you want me to make videos about and all that. Oh, and I'd also like to say to the guys at All Things Futhark, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for the reading you guys gave me. Um, it was right on the money with with everything that's going on. And, you know, I, I'm looking really forward to it. I want to uh, to do some more research. Let's put it that way. Anyway, see you later, guys. Cheers. Love and light.